Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Today I am going to guide you how you can assign a static IP to your Ubuntu machine or any kind of virtual machine using your Oracle VM virtual box. The first step you have to do is to select the machine on which you want to assign the static IP so I have selected the, this, this one and the first step you have to do is to click on this setting button and the next step you have to click on this network button here you have multiple network adopters available the first will be default adopter one you have you know, this should be enable adopter check is and the second adopter you have to click on this enable network adopter and attach to this host only adopter and click on this ok button so my gateway for the virtual box is 192.168.56.1 so i am going to assign the ip from this range the next step you have to start your machine click on the start button it will take a while to get this machine power up as soon as the machine gets running you have to log in the machine the login your GUI interface using the default username and password I have username this and the password I have entered The next step you have to open the terminal and change the user to root. So I have changed the now we are going to edit these two configuration files. I have already named this server as the Ubuntu and the root is to I am going to remove all these hosts and the IP address I am going to assign dot file and Ubuntu will be the next step close this CLI okay next step you can see the network shortcut here click on this button and I have enabled the second adopter that would be the ENP0S8 so I am going to edit this one and open this we have some upgrades here I am going to enter my own values by using the manual the IP address I am going to use and the net mask would be this and the gateway I have already told you this and DNS I am giving two DNS here and I am going to add this button and click on this apply button now you have to close this power of this adopter and power on again this adopter now we can check that the IP is assigned or not we can verify this by 
here the IP address has been assigned let's see it is being able or not yeah it's being able let's just ping the Google so the error will be here now the next step you have to do we'll click on this you have to turn off this adopter the issue is resolved or not no yet the issue will be same okay the solution I am going to tell you you have to delete this connection profile and you have to add again and just click on this add button Now you see the network adopter sign is change in color. First it was blur in color, now, right now it is white in color. Okay, now we are going to ping Google that it is pingable now. Now this machine would be accessible outside your virtual box let me show you before that it would not be pingable over if you guys want to see the demo i will show you now let's just ssh this machine if you follow these steps okay. now if if you want to assess SSH this machine you have to install and enable SSH service on your machine and uh, you have to disable the firewall as well okay, I am going to the firewall the firewall is stored and disabled let's check if it is accessible without installing the SSH or no yeah it is not let me so I have Google it that how I can install SSH on my Ubuntu server the steps will be very simpler now we are going to type this command as we can see on Google The installation process just has been started if you have not configured the static IP correctly neither any package will be downloaded and installed on your Ubuntu machine keep that in mind if you want to SSH your Ubuntu machine outside the instance or the virtual box you have to do two steps first step you have to allow the port if you are in the testing environment or you can simply disable the firewall and access the, this machine or you can allow the port for the SSH only and install and say and enable set or on your machine and everything will work fine now we we have just enable it because I'm going to show you Okay. The 
issue will be get resolved as soon we are going to reboot our We have up some upgrades going on. Let me wait until the machine gets normal. Okay, guys, everything is just normalized. Now I am going to SSH. Okay, I have entered the wrong mm, wrong username this is how you can assign a static IP to your Ubuntu machine you can uh, I have I have guided you you can assign the name to your machine you can assign static IP to your machine how you can SSH your Ubuntu machine outside the virtual box or the machine hope you guys like and understood my video very well so please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends, colleagues and students hope you like this video until then stay blessed stay tuned goodbye thank you for watching